Yet one more fabulous thing about Google Photos is the ability to edit your photos while they are being stored in the cloud in Google Photos. Um, so what you need to do to edit any photo is just click on and open whatever photo you want to edit. I'm going to choose this one. Now up in the top hand uh, top right hand corner you can see a few different things and one of them is the edit pencil so click on the edit pencil and that will allow you to do um, some of your edits now down at the bottom it says edits are visible to anyone you shared the photo with and that's something important to note if you change this photo they're going to see that too because they see the same image file so one of the first edits that you can do uh, are some color filters there are a few different types to choose from, and every time you click on a filter, you will see a blue line show up underneath. If you drag the blue circle along that line, it will apply that effect in uh, lower, if you go left, or higher percentages. It always starts at the top, so keep that in mind if you like or don't like a feel. Um, there are uh, some black and white, some color, lots to choose from so you can see that. Uh, the auto enhancement one shows up with the little star so you can see what it does if it usually uh, enhances things for you automatically. So I'm going to keep this one and turn it down a little bit so we can see the uh, orange a little. There we go. Um, all right, now another thing that you can do is you can adjust how light or vibrant the colors are. Um, I'm going to choose one with color now just so we can see it. And uh, so if you want to change the lightness, you can move that up and down. Usually it starts in the middle. Uh, you can increase and decrease the color saturation. And you can also add the pop, which as you can see allows certain colors to pop out a little bit more. Um, usually we want to keep that a little bit low unless you're doing something fabulous with it. Uh, if you click on the drop downs next to color and light, it allows you to even go even deeper with some of your edits and look at particular pieces of the color, the tint, the warmth, the skin tone, and so on. Um, underneath light, you can see there are um, a lot of different components that you can look at. The other edit that you can do is cropping and rotation. So if you click on that one, that allows you to crop by pulling the corners down. And it will allow you to rotate as well. So you can just drag along that side and it will rotate it and turn it. There are a couple of automatic crops and rotates up at the top. Uh, the aspect ratio is one you might want to think about using if you know you need it to be widescreen, you want it to be square, and that will change what your cropping box looks like. And you can automatically rotate it um, in 90 degree implements just by uh, increments just by clicking the rotate button. If you're ever not happy, you can always click reset, or if you are happy, you can click done. That will take you back to your edit screen. Now you can undo your edits if you would like to undo your edits. And you can click done to have the edited image be what is saved in your photos. Keep in mind that this is what everyone's going to be see, not the other image. So the last little trick I wanted to tell you about editing images in photos is if you go over to the more options, you can see that you can save a copy. This allows you to have the original photo as well as the copied photo with your edits so that you can see both of them. I'm going to save a copy and uh, go back in there. So there you can see my original picture is there and my new edited image is there. You'll also notice in there that I could have um, copied the edits, and that's something you might want to do if you are wanting to carry over edits from one image to the other so that you can keep your photos consistent. So that's editing photos in um, Google Photos. If you're done editing and you want to just get rid of the other one, you can just say done and see it in your album or just photos in general. Uh, those changes do show up wherever that image lives.